Welcome, my name is James from the DSO Imager channel and I wanted to do a video today uh, showing my work on M101, the Pinwheel Galaxy. I thought it'd be fun to take a look at the first picture I ever took of M101 and then compare it to, uh, uh, to a second one and then my latest which is my third attempt at it and see the differences. So here's my first attempt at M101. This was taken with a Nikon D5300 and uh, the telescope was a Stellarview SV70T. It's a little 70 millimeter refractor. Uh, I believe the native focal length was uh, 420 millimeters. I believe I took this picture before I even had the reducer. And um, this was back in uh, June of 2018. So I had about a year and a half's wor worth of experience uh, but in that time I've only taken about a dozen pictures and uh, I was also living in a uh, a pretty bright area Bortle 8 with uh, really bad street lights behind the house so anyway this is what it looked like about four hours and uh, it wasn't too bad I think I think it came all right came out all right uh, I was a little discouraged because uh, it was a lot dimmer and you can't see any detail in here but this is pretty typical of a lot of starter pictures. Now right after I took this picture I should say completed it I got my first dedicated astro camera and that was a ZWO ASI 178 mono cool. I actually picked that camera up right as or right before the 183 was released and here's a picture of the uh, of the rig and yes that's an Orion ST80 that I'm using as a guide cam in that picture it looks kinda silly uh, but it did work that ST80 was actually my first telescope and uh, the mount CAVX and uh, so you can see that 178 with the mini filter wheel Now, what you're seeing here is the side of my house. I had a, a four-lane road behind my house with very bright, very tall uh, LED streetlights. And so I actually had to set up in the, at the side of my house in the shadow of, uh, of those lights. And those lights uh, really caused a problem uh, for me, especially with, uh, with the broadband pictures and we'll kind of see that on my next attempt. So this was my second attempt with that ASI 178. I was using a 0.8 reducer with the telescope so the focal length is about 336 millimeters. This is with the ZWO RGB filters and the luminance filter. It's the ones that are designed for the 1600 and I have over 18 hours of exposure on this. And so while I think it looks okay, uh, and the color is, is not too bad, I wasn't too happy with these results. It, I was hoping to get more detail. Now, granted, it's a small telescope, uh, but I thought with the smaller pixels of the 178 and all the exposure that I was getting, uh, that I would get more detail in there. So it was a little disappointing. The other issue is because of the light pollution that was in that area on the luminance channel, I had to take very short subs. I, I believe my subs were like 17 seconds uh, to try to keep uh, the stars from blowing out. And overall, I had over a thousand subs. And so that wasn't fun processing. It was a lot of work to come up with this picture and it, it let me down a little bit. And I actually took a break from um, M101 after this. So this picture was taken in July of 2019 and uh, I didn't uh, touch M M101 again until uh, just recently. So last year I uh, moved to a uh, much darker area. I'm in a Bortle 4 slash 5. I don't have any street lights behind me. In fact I have a green belt back there. Uh, my neighbors are very nice. They leave their porch lights off when I'm imaging. And of course I've had some equipment upgrades too. And this is what my rig looks like for the most part. There's some minor changes since this picture was taken. Uh, but it's an EQ6 with that Edge 8. 
and I got that edge specifically for Galaxy Season. So uh, you get a bigger scope, darker skies, a couple years worth of experience under my belt, and I think it's paying off. This is what I got uh, just last month with this. Actually, I finished it up uh, a few days ago. So yeah, this is uh, I'm pretty happy with the way this one came out. This is about ten and a half hours of luminance. This is with a 294 mm. I used uh, 120 second subs on the luminance. The uh, RGB subs just one hour each of RGB, uh, 240 second subs there, and three hours worth of HA. All the filters are astronomic filters. The uh, LRGB or the deep sky filters, and the um, HA was taken with a six nanometer. HA filter. Uh, gained 120 for all all of them. So anyway, what do you guys think? You think the uh, you think the uh, new scope and the and the new environment was good? If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thanks a lot.